These right here are complementary and bound, one of the most beautiful shaders for Minecraft, as you can see. They also make all your ores shiny, which is pretty cool. And this is in Minecraft 1.21.3, .1 and I'm gonna teach you how to download and install these shaders for Minecraft 1.21.3 in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download and install complementary shaders on Bound is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install these shaders. Now, if you don't want to read through the whole thing, that's fine. This is just an option. You could just scroll down to step one and hit download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to find the game version that you're looking for. In this case, it's 1.21.3. But as you can see here on the most recent one, we only have 1.21.1. You don't have to worry because 1.21.1 is completely compatible with Minecraft 1.21.3. To download this version, just click on these three dots and hit download file. However, if the 1.21.3 version is here, just download that one instead. Let's go ahead and click here and then hit download file. Let's go ahead and wait five seconds for the download to begin for complementary unbound shaders. Now, while the shaders download, if you need a Minecraft server, this is a perfect moment to get one because Apex Hosting is giving out 25% off to those of you who use the first link in the description. Not only do they offer Java and Bedrock server, but they also support over 200 mod packs that you can install in your server with just a click of one button. They also have locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging and these servers are hosted online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or keeping your computer on the whole time to host a server. Something I personally love about Apex Hosting, besides all the advantages they have is that you could create the server and then access the server console through your phone, meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings, kick people out, change the weather, whatever you want to do, it is your server after all, and you could do so through your phone. I'm going to leave that first link in the description. Again, take advantage of the 25% because that's actually a great deal with Apex Hosting. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. And after a couple seconds, we already got complementary inbound downloaded. Let's go ahead and drag and drop this zip file into our desktop. We're going to leave it as a zip file. We don't have to unzip it. We're very lucky with that. Now for the next step, if you already have opt or iris shaders install all you have to do is add these shaders into your shaders packs folder and that's it you're done but i'm assuming most of you don't have a shader loader to play with these shaders in Minecraft. To install a shader loader, just click on the third link in the description, which is gonna bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. You also have a video in here, which should be updated by the time you're watching this to the newest version of Minecraft. But Optifine is a shader loader that is going to allow us to add shaders into Minecraft 1.21.3. To download Optifine, once you're over here, you don't have to read through the whole guide. You can just scroll down to step one and click download Optifine here. Then over here, you're going to download the 1.21.3 version. If you see the download button in here, go ahead and click that one. But if you don't, just click on preview versions in here and then either hit download and watch a short ad before downloading the shaders or click mirror and then you skip the ads that brings you over here and then you could hit download in here and the download will begin for the installer of Optifine 1.21.3 and after a couple seconds we already got the Optifine installer downloaded let's go ahead and put it in our desktop and now we're ready to begin installing complementary shaders unbound into the game the first thing you want to do is make sure you have closed the game as well as your Minecraft launcher and only after that go ahead and double click on the installer of Optifine to open the installer just hit install once it opens in here and let's just wait for Optifine to finish if you weren't able to open the installer that it might be because you need Java 21 this is a requirement this is not optional you will need Java 21 when installing mods for Minecraft after the Minecraft update 1.20.5. So I'm actually going to leave a guide in the description on how to download and install Java 21. Super easy. You just download it. Hit next a couple of times and you'll have Java installing your computer super quick and then you'll be able to install things like Optifine. Anyways, once we install Optifine, let's go ahead and hit OK here on the installer. And now guys, we could even delete the Optifine file from our desktop. We don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add the shaders into the game. To do so, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when the Minecraft launcher opens, if we install Optifine properly, we should see it selected here automatically on the bottom left as you can see that is the case with me right here we have optifying here if you don't see it in there however just head over to installations and make sure you have modded selected as you can see without modded you actually won't see optifying here anyways once you see optifying here and by the way if you don't you could just click on new installation and then look for optifying here right you could just type it select the 1.21.3 option name it whatever you want and then hit create here on the bottom right which will then create an instance of optifying for you anyways once we find optifying here let's go ahead and hit play on it see that you understand the risk of playing modern minecraft and if you don't know what that is just click here on this little link here and now let's go ahead and wait for Optifine to open to then add the complementary bound shaders into the game. Now, once Optifine opens, it's time to add the shaders. And to do so, let's go ahead and launch a world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer server. If you don't have a server, again, first link in the description, take advantage of that deal real, real quick. Let's go ahead and open a single player world. I'm going to teach you how to add those shaders into Optifine. It's actually quite simple. And again, we don't have to unzip that zip file. Once we're here in the game, as you can see, I already have the shaders on. That is because obviously I test things before I make a video about it. But if you don't have shaders when you load in, it's okay. All you have to do is press escape head over to options head over to video settings and then in here you will see this shaders option that is new now click on that and you probably won't see anything in here all we have to do is click on shaders folder which most likely will be empty for you and i'm actually going to delete the shaders i have well it's not letting me delete it because i'm using it in the game right now but let's say this folder is empty for you all you have to do guys is drag and drop that zip file from your desktop into the shaders packs folder just grab it from here and drag it into here and now when you go back into the game you should see those shaders appear here in the game i have two of the same because i was testing it earlier but you guys should have only one 
go ahead and select it and then give it a couple seconds for it to load. Depending on your computer, this might take longer. This might take five seconds. Doesn't matter. Just wait for that. Don't click anything else. And then once you see the shaders loaded, just click done a couple of times. Go back into the game and you should see Minecraft with shaders. And also, since we install Optifine to play with these shaders, if you press C on your keyboard, you actually will be able to zoom in and see from far away. That is one of the great features of using Optifine. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install complementary Unbound in Minecraft 1.21.3. These are beautiful shaders. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.